Before I demonstrate how to use G41 and G42, we want to be able to compare it to a typical linear toolpath using G01 only. Here we have our part and the finished size required. Now, let's say that these dimensions have a plus and minus tolerance of 0 0.004 inches. This is the part with its excess material that must be removed. It is half an inch too big in length and width. Here is our one inch diameter cutting tool. And our datum is here. The datum is the X and Y zero position. The starting position of our tool is X negative 0.25, Y negative 0.75. The X and Y position of the tool is based on where the center of the tool is in relation to the datum. Therefore, if the starting position of the tool is X negative 0.25 and Y negative 0.75, that means that the center of the tool is 0.25 inches away from the datum in the negative X axis and the center of the tool is 0.75 inches away from the datum in the negative y axis. This is the position of the tool after its first cut in the y axis. This is the position of the tool after its next cut in the x axis. This is the position of the tool after its next cut in the y axis. And finally, this is the finished position of the tool in its last cut in the x axis. The cutting path looks like this. So everything looks great. And if we measured this part, we would see that it is in tolerance. But if we were to cut dozens or perhaps hundreds of these parts, over time the tool would wear. This means that the tool would gradually reduce in size. As long as the tool wore no more than 0 0.004 inches in diameter, then we could continue to use it. Let's see why this is the case. When the tool is at its exact size of one inch in diameter, the finished size of the part should be the nominal size programmed. So the finished part should measure eight inches in length, and then it will also measure five inches in width. If the tool wears 0 0.002 inches and is now 0.998 inches in diameter, notice that the tool is no longer cutting the same amount of material as it once was. If the tool gets smaller by two thousandths of an inch in diameter, then that means that the material is going to be bigger by two thousandths of an inch. The part is still good as the tolerance is plus or minus four thousandths of an inch. If the tool wears 0 0.005 inches and is now 0.995 inches in diameter, notice that the part is no longer in tolerance. The maximum allowable size is 8.004 inches. We stated at the beginning that these dimensions had a plus and minus tolerance of 0 0.004. If the tool wears and leaves the part larger than the allowable tolerance, then the tool must be replaced or reprogrammed, unless G41 or G42 is used in the program. So how does G41 and G42 work? Take a look at the tool once again at its original size. Now. Notice what the tool looks like when it has worn five thousandths of an inch. The material is still in the same position and the center of the tool is still in the same position as the red arrow indicates. Knowing where the center of the tool is from the datum position allows us to program a tool path using a specific size tool. Note that the position of the tool does not change just because the tool diameter wears. The center of the tool is in the same position as it was when it cut the first 100 or perhaps 1000 parts. So instead of reprogramming the tool, 
moving it closer to the workpiece by rewriting the X and Y positions for every single movement, we simply need to include a G41 or a G42 in the original code so that we can enter one simple diameter offset that will change all the X and Y positions for you. Since the material is on the right side of the tool based on its toolpath, we will demonstrate G42. These were the original X and Y positions we showed earlier. The black circle in each location is the tool at its original size of 1 inch. The blue circle is the tool worn to 0.995 inches. If we choose not to use G42, then we will have to rewrite all of these X and Y coordinates so that the tool can cut the material to its proper size. This takes time and money and is unnecessary. Regardless of whether we use G42 or just rewrite all the X and Y positions, we need to bring the tool closer to the part like so. Using G42 will allow the machine to automatically offset the tool for us relative to the wear by entering one value in the machine diameter offset page. Here's how we do it. First make sure that the tool is currently at least half the tool diameter from position 1 in both the X and Y position. The reason for this is that for G41 or G42 to work, the tool must be able to physically move the radius of the tool to turn on. Let's start the tool a little further away than that. We will start it one inch away in the X and Y axis from position 1. So remember, position 1 is X negative 0.25 and Y negative 0.75. So we will make the initial or starting position X negative 1.25 and Y negative 1.75. When sending the tool to position 1, we need to make sure to add G42 to the block. We must also include in the program the diameter offset number. This number is associated to the tool. For instance, if the 1 inch tool we are using we have called tool number 1, T01, it would be prudent to give it a diameter offset of 1, D. 01 as well. To program position 1 using G42, the code would look like this. First, we would call up the tool. Next, we turn on the spindle, and here we can also call up the diameter offset. Notice D01. We can now send the tool to a safe Z location. Now we can send the tool down to its cutting position in Z. Now we can send the tool to position 1 using G42. G42 is now active, and any time that we need to adjust the tool location, bringing it closer to the material, we simply enter into the machine how much the tool has worn radially. So for instance, if we want to cut the material to exactly 8 inches in length and 5 inches in width, and we know that the tool has worn 0 .005 inches in diameter, then we need to enter half of that, negative 0 .0025, into the D offset column in the offset menu on the controller of the CNC machine. By using G41 and G42, we do not need to rewrite program code for X and Y locations.